Hello Nintendo Gamer dudes who just purchased your 8th Tinder Boost today and welcome to another Obese Loser video. So today I saw the Nintendo 64 games are coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service and I'm sure that all of the absolute failures of men that call themselves Nintendo fans were completely elated at this news, leaning forward in their cum-covered gamer chairs as they opened Reddit to updo the r slash Nintendo post. I mean, I don't understand how any human, let alone a fully developed man, could find any Nintendo product fun. but in Nintendo 64 game, I actually can't play any of those without getting instant motion sickness. It feels like I have those drunk goggles on from the 6th grade health class when I play any of those. But what makes this even worse is that Nintendo is going to be charging for a premium service to be able to play these shit chunks of video games. As I read this, I leaned back in my chair and thought to myself, who in the holy love of fuck would pay for this? Like, who is at such a level of desperation and loyalty to this higher being that literally doesn't know they exist and only sees them as a money sack to collect? Like, who would think that paying for this premium content is preferable over the thousands of free alternatives instantly available just because they think they matter to someone? This is when I realized it. I started connecting the dots. There weren't really many dots to connect. This is the exact same thing as incels paying for OnlyFans. <laughs> So the best way to start this is by seeing why people would even spend money on either of these services. And the best marketing tactic on earth is to get people to be emotional. And who is more emotional than an unloved man-child? No one. In the same way that Nintendo uses their nostalgia to gain easy access to your mind, OnlyFans winches take advantage of the absolute destroyed reward system of the losers by offering a way out of their horrid loneliness. The first step of getting these people to fall for this is getting the logical thinking barriers removed and opening the goma eye that is the emotions of these desperate losers. Once the emotions are on full display, you hit them with all the awesome benefits they will get with your service. Don't mind the hundreds of other completely free options that have more accessibility and usage. You've already got them entangled in your web. Things like save states, borders, widescreen capabilities, dedicated videos, genital ratings, and private chats. The consumer will never know how absolutely simple and zero effort it took to add a widescreen function to your N64 game. Just like they'll never know you never opened that picture of their painfully average penis and just responded with the same copy and pasted message you've done 300 other times. Now that you've got them in a muzzle and in their kennel, they will never question the fact that your product is completely inferior to the bountiful amounts of free alternatives. Why would I download a sketchy emulator when I could just play all the games on the Nintendo system? I don't mind giving them my money, I would love to support them. Why would I watch porn on a sketchy website when I could have an actual woman and drink with me alone? I don't mind giving her my money, I know she would love the support. So what do you do about the people who aren't entangled in your emotional puppet strings and are actually taking advantage of the free alternatives? Well, you sue them, of course because that will completely stop it. 